Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. My name is Barbara, and as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to get this face, full face, showing you everything that I have in my travel makeup bag. If you've been here before and you've seen my videos, you know I am extra, <laughs> and you know I like to have options. So my bag is not small, and there are a lot of products that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Before we get into the video, if you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the family, and turn on your notification bell so that you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week. I do makeup videos, I do reviews, I do tutorials, I do hauls, and I sprinkle in a little bit of fitness. So if you're into that, you are absolutely gonna love this channel. I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. If you wanna see how I got this look using products in my travel bags, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, so I've actually wanted to film this video for a while now. It's been on my list of videos to film and I thought it would be a good tag to maybe start. So if you like how this video comes out and you think it's a great idea, I would love to see you recreate the products that you travel with because if you take them with you out of town, then we all know these are your no fail go-to products that you feel like I'm going to be comfortable using these and I know they're going to work for me. So this is my travel bag. I'm not a minimalist when it comes to my makeup and like I have said before, I want to have options. So this bag is pretty heavy. I travel with this and I travel with this. So these are both in my carry-on. They do not go in my checked luggage because if I get to location and that bag doesn't make it there, we're going to have a problem. So this is actually an old Mary Kay roll-up bag from back in my Mary Kay days. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I did become a director with Mary Kay a long, long time ago. That's what got me into makeup to begin with. The bag rolls up. So as you can see, there are four compartments. And yeah, this top part is like my skincare and my toiletries. And then this second one is mainly face stuff. Then this one is my powders and my sponge and um, eyeshadow. And then this last one is just kind of more toiletry. So, so it's pretty organized. And I love that it has this little hook here. So when I'm traveling, I can just pop this up and I will hang it in the bathroom and good to go. In the smaller container, I actually got this with a Tarte brush set. This is what's in it. This side here is magnetic. So these pans either already had magnets or I put magnets on the back. And then these are the brushes that I use. Another thing I love about this bag is these little pockets, they come off. It'll make it easier to show you guys as I'm going through it. So this is pretty much my skincare bag. So like I said, this is my toothbrush, my toothpaste, my acne treatment, my Foreo cleanser. I definitely like to use this when I'm traveling. I have exfoliator, I have my lash food for my lashes, makeup removing balm. So all the little samples and stuff that I get, I mainly use for this bag. More makeup remover. So for the face part, products that we are going to be using today. I keep a sharpener in here. I do have my magnetic lashes, but I'm double checking it. And now I'm probably going to add a regular pair of lashes since I just recently bought the lash glue liner pin. So that might be easier to travel with. The two foundations that I have in here, actually I have three. I've always traveled with my Hard Candy Glamouflage. You guys know this is one of my favorites. It was one of my oily skin favorites and I haven't tried it since my skin's been dry. I also put my ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation in here and then I have my Pro Fusion Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfecting Foundation. This one's dark and a little red. This one is a little too light and gold, so mixing them will be perfect. 
for primer i have my cover fx gripping primer you guys know this is one of my favorites but then i also have this sample of the charlotte tilbury wonder glow instant soft focus beauty glow primer i'm going to start off with my cover fx gripping primer and just put that on my face and then i am going to put a little bit of this charlotte tilbury on as well because why not i've been loving how my face looks with glowy primers underneath so i'm not gonna put too much i feel like when i do that it kind of makes my skin i don't know sometimes i don't like how it looks under my makeup so i'm gonna let that sit i'm going to touch up my brows real quick my anastasia brow definer in dark brown this is my favorite go-to pencil to use and I also have my Kat Von D, if ever I want to use a pomade, this is the Super Brow, this is her pomade, and I have that in the shade Dark Brown, I don't know if you can see, there you go, you see not much, but it's just your standard pomade, so I have both. I do, for primer, also have my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, I am going to apply just a tiny bit of that in my cheek area and on my nose because as y'all know from watching those are the areas that need the most help for concealers i do have a color corrector in here this is the maybelline master camo in the shade number 50 apricot i don't even know if they make these anymore i haven't seen them and then as you can see the liquid comes out on the end so we're just gonna put that, it is very peach in the areas I feel in need to color correct. So again, I have everything in here. I need to do a full, full face. The other two concealers I have are the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Dark Warm. I have so many backups of this. And then I also have this NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And this is in Medium Dark One Biscuit. And this is the shade that I have. As you can see, it is well loved. I use this under my eyes as well. Since I haven't used the Hard Candy one in a while, I'm gonna use that one today, mainly because I want to see how it's gonna work with my skin being a little bit, a lot drier. And also, I don't know, it just seems like the shade works for me if I'm dark, if I'm light, like it doesn't matter. And I love the coverage that I get with it, so it's a no fail product for me. I can either do super heavy coverage or just light coverage. This color just looks so good. I think another reason why I love this foundation so much is I never feel like I have to use a lot. Like, I like the coverage of this. I could put more if I felt like I needed to, but I feel like by the time I'm done with concealer and powder and all that stuff, like, this is really, really good coverage. And I didn't dip in the bottle but once. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I like, I love the shade of this. It's the perfect, it's not too yellow. It has good coverage. It's really lightweight. So it's easy to blend out. This is pretty much the same thing that I do when I do my makeup on camera. So nothing different. So as you can see, everything is blending in nicely. That concealer color looks so good. Then for powder to set under my eyes, I have two options. In this case, I have this, oh, what's the name of this? This is from MAC, yeah, Soft Focus. So it's just this yellow powder. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. But then also in the next compartment where my powders are, I also have this Sacha Buttercup powder. And this came in a compact. I have the little tub of the loose powder in my bathroom, but 
when I saw that they had this, I was like, let me jump on it because this will be perfect to travel with. I'm just going to use what is in my magnetic case. So I'm going to use the MAC powder and I just pack that under my eyes and everywhere that I need to sit. We are not going to talk about <laughs> how old these products are because honestly, I don't know. I really don't. I do make it a point because these brushes stay closed up in this container to wash these brushes more frequently than I wash my other brushes. And then for face powder, oh, I forgot about this one. Okay, so I showed this in a haul a while back. This is my Boots number no. 7 Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Translucent Finishing Powder in the shade Medium. I talked about this one because I heard that it was supposed to be a good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put that around where I put my brightening yellow powder another face powder that I have in here is my urban decay all-nighter this is the waterproof setting powder this one is in this translucent shade I just take a powder brush this is my elf powder brush and kind of swirl in there and just lightly sweep this on my face. The last powder that I have in here is actually, if I need a little more coverage, this is the Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder in the shade Tobacco. So it looks like this. I've hit pan on this, running low. This one doesn't add too much coverage and it's really light and it just looks good to set everything and kind of blend it together but I'm not gonna use this one today, I don't need it. For bronzer, I have three, four options. <laughs> um, okay, one of them I have, this is way too dark for me. This is in the little brush case and this is actually from Makeup Geek. I bought this with one of their sets, I think, forever ago. And of course I had no idea what I was doing in terms of how to pick colors so I just grabbed the darkest one they had and this is way too dark for me this is in the shade scandal and it's a cool deep contour y'all look how dark that is I do use it if I'm doing like full glam want to do full super sculpted I will use that but I also have for bronzer my Hoola Toasted. So this is the darker shade from just the regular Hoola bronzer. This is also really dark for me. For a while, the only thing I had in this bag was this Rimmel London. This is, I guess the, this is a face palette. It's called Golden Bronze. This is so old and beat up. This has a highlighter, a contour, and a blush. This blush reminds me so much of NARS Orgasm. And this highlighter is a little icy on me, so I don't wear it a lot. Like, I don't put a lot on. But if I'm just doing, like, a kind of natural bronze, then I'll use this palette. But you can't. I don't think you can get this anymore. Comment below and let me know if you can. And then I also just recently added this Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution Collaboration Face Palette. I showed this to you guys before and told you it was going in my makeup bag because I was looking for a replacement for this. And I think this is a better option as far as my skin tone anyway. This is the darkest one that they have in this palette. I'm gonna show you guys the Rimmel one first. And I'm just gonna go into the contour shade and I'll let you see, like this does not come off super, super dark. It's dark enough to get the job done, but it's not, as dark as some of the other stuff you've seen me use. I'm actually just going to use this to contour my cheeks. And then I'm going to use my Hoola Toasted to bronze. Since that one's a little more warm. So you can see that gave me a little bit of a sculpt. I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to swatch. This is the one from Makeup Geek. Look at how dark that is. Like I don't know where I thought I was going. When I tell y'all my makeup knowledge and application skill has become so much better, like where was I going with that? I also know how to use a lighter hand with products like that. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. I put it on my brush and then I tap it off and then I just lightly, 
I mean, look how much darker that is. Like I told y'all, I can go zero, 50, or 100 with the stuff that I have in this bag. So now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do the hula bronzer real quick just around my hairline. But this is also a really nice, warm, dark color that I have to be careful with. Then for blush, we have, actually, well, we have the ones that come in the palette. So this is the Patricia Bright blush. Then I also have my Kat Von D Lolita. This was like a blush and an eyeshadow. Love this color. And then I also have two blushes in this case. So it's these two right here. And I think they are both MAC. One of them I had to put, I have no idea what this is. Because I had to put a magnet on the bottom and I don't see anything underneath. I don't know what shade this is. The other, this is Raisin. So yeah, this is a MAC one for sure. I love this one. This is the one I go to most of the time. And since I haven't used it in a while, I'm going to use that today. I use the same brush that I used for my bronzer and I use that to apply my blush. And this is just a matte blush. It doesn't have any sheen or anything like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the blush in the Rimmel palette. I would never wear this before because I wasn't into glowy products and I honestly just didn't think it would look good on my skin. But now, that is so pretty. Look at that already. It almost just looks like a peachy gold highlighter. What a subtle, subtle sheen. I also have one more blush. And this one's in here because I love the highlighter more than anything else. This, I don't think you can get any more, but this is the Mali Effortless Airbrush. It doesn't say anything else, but this has a blush and a highlighter. And it's Pretty in Pink Blush. And then this highlighter is Pure Light. This highlighter was the rave for a very long time because everyone, this is when everyone was so into Gilded Honey, and then this came out and everybody started using this. So of course, I had to have it. But the other highlighters that I have are the ones in the face palettes, and then the one that I have here in this kit is an Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's from her, one of her glow kits. This one I probably need to change out because it is a little icy for me, but I just use a light hand. This is from the Glow Kit in the shade Bubbly. Compared to the Mally one, this is the Glow Kit one at the top. And then that's the Mally. So I'm just gonna go into the Glow Kit highlighter. Come through. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> I love this little brush too. I do also keep a brow gel in my bag. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel in clear. This was like the only brow gel I would use for the longest. For eyeshadows, this is always the hardest thing for me because y'all know how much I love eyeshadows. I have one palette and then I have some singles. This is the Visart Theory palette, and this is in the shade Minx. So it is your typical, like, staple neutrals. This brown gets so dark, and then these other shimmers are, like, super shimmery. So you can do a nice, standard three-shadow matte look. You can throw whatever shimmer color you want. As you can see, I have a tendency to mainly use this one, but then because I like color, I also just added some single shadows in here. Unfortunately, I can't tell y'all the names of all of these because some of them don't have names on the back and I honestly just don't remember, but I pretty much always start off with the Visart palette and I use that 
in my crease to help kind of start the look and then it just goes from there so i'm gonna do that today and so i'm just gonna start like this is my favorite favorite crease color it's perfect and sometimes if i don't want to do a lot i'll just throw this in my crease and put something on my lid one of the either a matte or like one of the shimmers that aren't too too blinding and i'll go by my business so next i'm gonna take this bottom shade here they don't have names so i'm just gonna take this one and put it all over the lid hard to describe what this color is it's like a bronze kind of purple shade but this color is so pigmented and glides on so easy and then this is what the gold looks like and I'll just show you the last shimmer shade I didn't use this one a lot just because it's so bright we're going to use all of those. So I'm going to take a little bit of the gold and I'm just going to kind of lightly put that on top in the middle. And then I'm going to take that lightest shade and I use the same, I have, I use the same brush and I just wipe it off. Nobody got time to be traveling with more brushes than this. This is already a lot. But look how easy those just blend together. And I'm gonna take this darkest shade and deepen up my crease. Like look how dark that is. And I'm not even using black. I'm gonna take the fluffier brush just kind of build up outwards with that shade I'm gonna go back in with my transition shade and just go around the edge Transition shade, blending, crease shade, whatever you want to call it. And then just to show you how blinding the in the spotlight shade is from Makeup Geek. I don't even know if they make that shade anymore. Y'all let me know if you know whether or not they do. But I'm just going to take that and put that in my inner corner. Look at that. So that's all we're gonna do with the eyes right there. This is a pretty easy kind of standard look. Just to kind of smoke that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade that we started with and I'm just gonna put that on the inner part. For eyeliner, I told you guys that I keep this liner in my bag. I was not joking. This is the Physicians Formula Lash Booster. This is the, or Eye Booster. This is their waterproof one. I just think I get like, I know I probably don't do wing liner like everybody else. My wings are probably super small and not that dramatic, but I feel like I get the perfect wing every time I use this. All right, eyeliner is done. So I also have just a regular brown liner that I'll use for my bottom lashes. And this is literally down to, <laughs> to almost nothing. This is the Rimmel. I can't even tell you the full. It's in 003 Brown. This one does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, not much. And I just normally use this to darken up my lower lash line. For mascara, I have two options. I have the Benefit Roller Lash, which I have a small version of that. And then I have my Thrive Cosmetics. This is their liquid lash extensions. I've told you guys how much I love this one and it stays in my travel bag most of the time unless I want to use it. But on camera and in day-to-day -day life lately, I've just been trying out different mascaras. 
I just wanted to show you guys how this one works because I don't remember if I've used this on camera before. But look how dark my lashes look already and this is just, oh, it's so nice. It's expensive. And I don't think this ever goes on sale. Like I think they have kits that they might do where you can get this with some of their other products but this by itself i don't think it ever goes on sale look how long my lashes look can y'all see this on the side i hope you can this is insane look how long my lashes look and they're so black and thick love it all right so now for lips these are what i keep in this bag this is the rimmel rich number 20 liner and this is what it looks like it is retractable you know i like the ones that you can twist up and down even though i have a sharpener in my bag um i love this color it's a nice kind of mauvey pinky and then this lipstick this is the Too Faced liquefied longwear lipstick in melted chihuahua and this is what the shade looks like but i have a small one that i travel with in my <laughs> this stays in my purse this is all lip products i think there's like maybe one mascara in here and a face powder but this stays in my purse on top of all this other stuff. I have this Marc Jacobs Hot Cocoa Liquid Lipstick. This is what this shade looks like. Also very similar. Most of these are nudes. If I'm traveling, I rarely ever wear anything like super bright. This is the Bobbi Brown Crush Liquid Lip in the shade Hot Cocoa. That's what this looks like. You notice a trend here. I also have another Rimmel liner. This is in the shade Ultimate. This is the one that's more brown that I told you guys about. I have another sharpener. I have lash glue. Because when I wear lashes, they always seem to come up in the corners. So I learned to start traveling with that. This is my Jack Black lip balm, which clearly it is time to get another one. This is the Becca Hydra Light. This is a plumping lip balm. This one's in the shade Tide. I got this as a gift from one of my Ulta orders. And this is the shade. This is Melted Fig. I actually love these melted liquefied lipsticks from Too Faced. I just love the formula. They last long, but they're not too drying. This is the shade for that one. I have my Fenty, which one is this? Uncuffed liquid lipstick, another nude. I have my Color Pop, which one is this? BFF 3 liner, I'm running low on this one, it's a brown. I have my Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Spice Girl. This is one of my favorites. It's a little bit darker. It's almost like a, it's honestly probably similar to the other ones, but it's more of a darker kind of brownish red. I have a mascara. This is the It Superhero. I think I just told you guys in my last video, my haul video, that I have this in my purse. So this is one of the ones I fell in love with. And then for lip glosses, I have my Maybelline Lifter Gloss, gloss in Opal. And then I have my Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. So these are the two shades that I have. Very different. And then I also have <laughs> two more lip balms, my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Pear, and then my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm. And then I have a face powder, and I don't even think I use this, but this is the Tarte Creamy Powder Foundation in the shade Tan Honey. I think it's a little too light for me, which is probably why I don't wear it, but I use the mirror. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my Rimmel London Enrich, which is the one that was in my bag. And then I'm going to use my Melted Chihuahua since that's also what was in my bag. And that is it. I love this lip combo. That is why it is in here. It is no fail. 
It is a nude, so it goes with every single eyeshadow, any look that I want to do. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just the perfect neutral, almost my lips, but better. And then in the bottom part of this pouch, like I said, this is mostly hair stuff. I'm not going to go through this, but I do have two setting sprays. I have setting sprays, perfumes, hair products, yeah, deodorant, stuff like that. But the setting sprays I have, I have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. And then this is actually a concoction that I've made. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's the bottle, but I mixed... This is for like, I need my face to stay all day. So I have, y'all remember that model in a bottle, like super, super heavy duty setting spray that's mixed in here with the Ulta setting spray that has sunscreen in it. And that's why it has this agitator in it. So, and then the Urban Decay All Nighter. So it's a mix and these do not, when I use this one, like, it feels like I'm putting alcohol on my face. It is very drying, stays all day. I will not use this while my skin is dry. So this is the CoverGirl one. Check this mister. All right, we good. I love how this one smells too. It has a rose smell. Yep, it's rose, okay. So, and that is it. So this is a full face of what's in my travel bag i know it's a lot of stuff y'all like i said i'm extra everybody knows that and i want to have options because you never know i'm out of town we decide to hit up a little hole in the wall chill spot i could tone it down if we are hitting a rooftop bar downtown somewhere i can glam it up i have everything i need in this bag and that is why i love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the look. Comment below and let me know what are some of the staple products that you have to have when you travel. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you like the idea of it, give it a thumbs up. I would love to see this become a tag. So again, if you guys have makeup bags that you travel with, do a video, tag me in it, mention your name in my comments and let me know you're gonna do it and I'll be on the lookout for it. I'd love to see what you guys use. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.